to the roasting room today, we're going to talk about a new product that we're really excited about here at Carriage House Roasters. It's called the Tiber Kick. So this is not a paid advertisement. This is something I found on Kickstarter that I'm just really excited about because we have been trying to bring nitrogen coffee to the farmer's market for a while now and been having trouble. So let's talk about first how we started with nitrogen coffee. So first we started with the traditional beer keg um, system, which involved this gigantic heavy tank of nitrogen, a pony keg, what felt like miles and miles of tubing, a giant cart to hold it all. It was really cumbersome and really just not worth the effort for the size of the farmer's market we did. So next we moved to smaller, and we got this really cool guy, which was nice, but you needed to redo it for every customer. And it just didn't produce the amount of nitrogen that we really wanted to see in it, just because you are supposed to let the nitrogen infuse for a while. So when you're doing it one by one with a customer, it didn't really work. Although for single serve at home, it is a great little item. But then, lo and behold, we found this on Kickstarter and we just got it in the mail and we are so excited with the results. So once again, this is called Tiger Keg, and this is how it arrived. It came with this excellent like packing material that we really liked, so it got here safely, no scratches, no dents. Um, really excited. So um, as you can see here, these are the things that it came with. It does work on the tiny little 8 gram nitrogen, just like the small single serve one that we were doing in the past. But this one will hold 48 ounces of cold brew. So we're really excited to get our bourbon roast in here so we can do a bourbon nitrogen coffee. So let me show you how easy this is to assemble. So it does come with a little lid. So if you just have your coffee filled in here, you don't have to nitrogenate it yet. Um, you can just take it with you wherever you're going. So if you were going camping on a long weekend, didn't want to use the nitrogen yet, you could just carry it around like this. Um, do note though, when you nitrogenate it, the website says it will stay good for two weeks in your fridge. So not only is it a great option for a small operation like ours, it's really great for home use too if you just really dig nitrogen coffee and don't want to have to constantly run out to a cafe. So here's the lid. So the assemble is really easy. So you've got your place for your tubing and you're just going to slide your tube on like this. It takes a little bit of muscle just because it is a good tight fit. Now they do have gaskets around here so it creates a great seal and it even came with extra gaskets. So really excited with all the forethought they put into it. The gasket did come preloaded so you didn't have to do it the first time. So just going to screw that in here. Now obviously you would have added coffee but I'm just kind of showing you quickly how the setup is. Okay, so let's talk about what's on the top. Here we have a release valve. I uh, pulled off the little tab there accidentally because I wasn't paying attention. And then here's where your nitrogen cartridge is going to go, and then here's where your tap handle is going to go. So they send you a traditional stout tap handle, or tap, and they do give you a little cute black um, handle if you like. Or, you know, you can also get something like a stainless steel one that we had from our previous system. Um, you can get cool ones on Amazon or however you want. You just apply the handle. Um, we learned this the other day. Make sure it's in the off position, not the on position, if you have coffee already loaded. So you just put it up here, and you just kind of thread it on. Oops, have it sideways. Just make sure you get it straight up. It's really easy if you're more mechanically inclined, unlike me, and aren't spinning it the wrong direction. So you're just going to put it on there. So, and then this is where your nitrogen capsule goes. You just put it in like that. Now, I've already used this one, so you're not going to hear it go in, but I wanted to be able to demonstrate it. So you're just going to put it on there, and you just screw it down. Now, if this were a live one, you'd hear it kind of go, and it would fill it up. So once you would do that, you would just shake the canister, and you let it sit for about an hour before you're ready to drink it. Um, really cool. It gets all the condensation on it, just like the little ones did. Um, but keep it in the fridge and you can have ice cold nitrogen anytime you want it. Um, other nice things is they did send extra tubing so if one gets wonky you got two backups. You've also got cool little cleaning supplies so you don't have to worry about the gunk and everything getting up in here. But like I said you've also got the little key to help you with um, the tap handles and all the other little things. So we're super impressed. We can't wait to start using this at the farmers market. And hopefully you'll come out and try our bourbon brew nitro coffee next week. Okay, so 
let's see how it works. So we prepped this little keg um, yesterday. We've done several shots from it. Um, this is with a single charge, so let's see how it works. Beautiful. So once again, this was infused yesterday with the nitrogen. Still extremely nitrogenated, works beautifully. So we're extremely happy with the results. Look at that gorgeous nitro.